In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a four option infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the title, which you can see kind of a glass effect I have given there. And then it will show you the option two, option three, and the option four. And if you like to make it uh, three options also, you can just make it option one, option two, and option three. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to something like this, which is a light blue and on the corners it is a dark blue. Then go to insert shapes under rectangles, select this one rectangle top corners rounded, just draw it this much size maybe and rotate it, flip, you can Rotate right 90 degrees and keep this here and if you want you can make it somewhat curved and shape outline make it a white color and shape fill make it at full white and increase the transparency effect. So it should look like some kind of a glass effect there. You can see here then I'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl D and I'm going to remove only this much part go to insert shapes select a rectangle so the part which is visible I want to keep it and the rest I want to remove it so first of all I'm going to select this rectangle and the blue rectangle merge shape just say subtract and then you can give some good colors here I can just say radial some nice colors I can choose from. So you can just uh, do some nice uh, colors or this looks more something like this and shape outline make it no outline and put it here. And later on we can send this to back and then I'm going to give some more effects press ctrl D to duplicate shape outline make it no outline and one more time duplicate it and go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the oval shape and I'm going to keep only this much part so I'm just going to select this and then this merge shape say intersect I got only this shape now remove the outline shape fill white and again increase the transparency effect and here also I'm going to make one more oval shape maybe this much size and select this merge shape intersect shape outline no outline and you can select this home click on this one and then I'm just going to put it on top and this also I'm going to put it on top so you can see here I have just added some nice effect to it and you have to make it more transparent so it should not be looking more and then you can add some text to it. So let me add some text here. Go to insert text box. I'll just say option one. Make it white. Choose your own font. Center align and put it here. And control D to duplicate reduce your size and type your detail text here and put it here so you can see here our text and this design is ready you can select this and go to format send to back so that the borders are visible and if you have the icon you can just simply 
add the icon to it. Now let me add some cutout for that. Go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle, something like this. Shape outline, make it no outline and say gradient fill. And I'm going to delete one stop. Put one stop which is the same color of the blue. With eyedropper, I'm just going to select this blue. And this also should be blue, but I can increase the transparency. And the type, let me just make it linear and this one. Increase the position and here also you can just reduce it. So you can see here, it's showing a cutout. So cutout, you can make it more something like this. And then select all, press Ctrl G to duplicate, sorry, group it, Ctrl D to duplicate and put it one here. Again, Ctrl D, one more here. I'm just going to ungroup it. And this color also we need to change according to the background. I will select this color so you can see here it is blending in the background. If it is not, so you have to just do some corrections. And this also, I'm just going to select this background. And you can just move something like this so that it should blend. Now, once you do this one, just change the text to two and three and then you can give a animation effect to do the animation you have to make sure that this is all group it control g and this is also you can group it control g and then i can just select the animation or i can select all together i will just say wipe wipe just say from left you can go to animation pane and all this to happen on click so if i play this one it will come the first option the second option and the third option That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.